Yeah, that's so funny. Nice. Well, we're recording. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Cool. All right. But the genuine selves. <laughs> We always sit like this. <laughs> Why do we even have the other side of the table? <laughs> well, so what do you guys think? Good. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Not great. That's what Cree's dad always says. It's like his go-to line. He's like, pretty so, good. what do you think, Cree? It's yeah. like his what's up. Yeah. It, like, yeah, that's how he says, like, how you doing? Like, so what do you think, Scotty? Oh, good, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, what do you say to stuff like that? I know people used to say weird stuff like that in Portuguese. They'd be like, like, if God wants, but in Portuguese, and like, like, what do you say? And they'd be like, I, yep. he does. Yep. <laughs> I love Ra. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's, that's weird. Hmm. And there's a thing like that in sign language where it's like this, which is supposed to be like, what's up? Mm -hmm. But it actually translates to what is the event? Huh. What's the event? Okay. Good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's the event? It's interesting. My friend mm -hmm. Keith was telling me he, he speaks Korean. And he said that instead of saying, how are you doing? Literally translated. Uh, their how are you doing is how has everything been since the last time I saw you until now? Yeah. Hmm. Which I guess... It's a hefty question. <laughs> I know. It's like, I don't have enough time. <laughs> like, Where should we be? Uh, let's see. Was it February 9th? <laughs> Day one. That's oh, funny. Goodness. There's a lot of funny things in Spanish specifically because I don't know Korean. Um, dang it, I was just thinking of one. They always say like, yeah, there's a lot of funny things. <laughs> you always like would say something to people and be like, hey, can we like come to your house and like give a message or even non-spiritual things? Be like, hey, like, are you busy tonight? And then they'd say, if God wants. Which is like a really weird, and they wouldn't say it in like a religious way. It's like anyone would say it. It's like, if God wants, and I was like, I don't know how to know. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, he does. Uh, it's oh, like, well, so you have to pray and find out if God wants, and then tell me, and then I'll show up at your party. <laughs> One of the interesting things that actually makes more sense in Spanish, it's like when somebody's like going to go do something. You know, like, let's say you're leaving and you're like, have a good day. In English, if you really think about it, it's like a command. You that's know, true. it's like, have Don't a good day. Don't tell me what to it's do. Like you're telling them to have a good yeah, day. that's true. But in Spanish, it's like, um, que tengas un buen día, which is like, that you may have a good day. It's like putting it out into the universe, you know? Or it's like, que te vaya bien, which is like, that it may go well for you. you know? Sending positive vibes. Yeah, it actually makes more sense. I Thoughts and prayers. I love everyone that speaks Spanish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in Portuguese, like in English, how we say like "have a good day," w we say in some sentences we abridge it to just "good," like "good luck" um, or "good job." Um, but in Portuguese, they do that with everything. And so I remember mm -hmm. when I got home, I said that a couple times. Like we say like "good afternoon," "good morning," "good evening," "good luck," but they'll be like "good work," as in. You're going to work, not like you did work. Be like, good work, like have fun at work. Or good like, morrow, brother. Good party, good breakfast. Hmm. And it was, and then I got home and I would say that, I would like, we'd like leaving a group of people and I'd just be like, all right, like, good driving, good driving home, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to say, that, like, uh, good, uh, uh, I don't speak English. Well, I'm just gonna be a lot word. When few word does job. <laughs> when few word does job. Sea world. Uh, what what kind of sea? <laughs> I was uh, watching The Office with Maddie last night, and let me just say, the worst character on that show is the redheaded British lady. Oh. No, 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 no Meredith. Oh. Oh. Meredith is oh, the British one. The, 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 the British one who like one. becomes the. I don't think she's funny. Cause oh, she's like she, just she too the random. There's nothing about her that I like. No, she's not very funny. Very genuine. She's just like says random crap, hoping that it'll like. I haven't seen enough of it actually for my statement to be true. But what I have seen, I don't like. What I I've heard enough people say it that I feel confident confident without having seen it. <laughs> I really I saw her in Doctor Who like when I was younger, and it worked 
mainly because everyone else was British. So, like, they were all kind of, like, the same type of humor in that show. Yeah. But she brought British sense of humor to an Americanized version of something. And I sat there and I was like, hmm. Also, yeah. she was supposed to be annoying in Doctor Who. So, it was like, it played off because he didn't really like her. Whereas, in The Office, it's kind of like, basically, everyone is supposed to be the straight man to Michael Scott. Yep. And then to Dwight. And then over time, they start adding more, and then, like, by the end, it's like, everyone is funny. Yeah. Then it's not even funny. You're just, like, watching The Proud Family. (laughs) Also, I I saw... (laughs) This is a great (laughs) show. I love it now. (laughs) Somebody did a rendition that I saw earlier today, and it was like, when Disney Plus picks up The Office, and it was like a bunch of cartoon drawings, there's a character that I didn't recognize, which was, like, a black guy with glasses. Daryl? It wasn't Daryl, and it wasn't Stanley. But it was like a cartoon drawing, so I couldn't tell the face. Yeah, there's not a, that many black guys in the whole show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe Charles. Could be Charles. I don't know. Idris Charles. Elba's character. Oh, it kind of looks like Idris Elba. I didn't know he was on The Office. Yeah, he's, he's in, in like, like two episodes. Like, yeah, yeah, a couple episodes. He's oh. actually the like interim boss, I think. Because it's when Michael makes his own paper company. Oh. <laughs> he's <laughs> the one funny. that has to step in and take over while Michael's not there. Well, I feel like I've seen a lot of it, but then when I talk with people about it, there's just, they always quote episodes that I haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the, the problem with The Office is that, like I said, it's like their, their pivot is Michael Scott and everyone else is normal and it makes it funny. So when he leaves, they try to replace him. It like, it replaces the whole show. It's like someone else doing Steve Carell's comedy hour. So like they bring in Will Ferrell and it's like, this isn't like now we're watching a Will Ferrell show. It's like we don't. There's no way to. I don't know. There's yeah. no way to go on after, in my opinion. Mm. Just too bad, because <laughs> they did like two seasons after he left. I think they did. He left in season six or season five, and they stopped at season nine. Did they? They did yeah, that many without him. Oh yeah. I've seen it all. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I didn't see eight or nine. I like forced myself eventually. Like I finally got over it. And I didn't like it, but I was like, <laughs> I think the last episode's really sweet. I, I, I love it. Really well. It's like, I, I need, like, if I'm gonna just like <coughs> face my fears, I'm gonna go at 100%. So I was like, what? Well, I watched all, and I actually do love the last episode. Last episode, when I watched, I watched it live. I like teared up. Not actually, but like, they're like, like I'm with all my friends, so I don't want them to think that I'm actually I've, crying. I've cried a I lot cried more my- recently in movies. Cry like every day. <laughs> I, was, start I saw um, <laughs> Life is Beautiful recently. And the, I, started uh, well, I mean, that's like the most tearjerker movie of all time. Yeah, yeah. I could <laughs> But I, that, I just barely watched like it the Italian? first time. Yeah. It's the Italian oh, holiday. Principe. Buongiorno, Principe. I haven't seen I it. I really uh, like that movie. It's a great movie. It's heartbreaking. It's oh, really okay. sad. Yeah. I almost teared up. It's heartbreaking because it's a comedy. Well, and because it's, it's the Holocaust. It's not really a comedy, it's the thing. It's like they have funny moments in this awful terrible story <laughs> well it's a good story but it's like really sad right like a sad yeah. story yeah mm-hmm. i almost teared up um watching the christmas carol we went to the play the other day at the hell oh, and i was watching oh, I it and i was like they did a good job like, man yeah, anything me. with little boys makes me sad <laughs> i know <laughs> <laughs> also happy but um no yeah I no agree. like when tiny tim died like oh, it, it never he dies just spoiled the whole thing. Oh my goodness. Scrooge kills him? No, it's like, I, it's never really hit me before because I haven't seen it since Callum was born. But, oh man, I like, I was, I'm kind of getting teared up thinking about it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it was pretty. I've cool. noticed with me, it's funny because like, you'll, you'll set your state for a period of time based off of like the big event during that time so like for example when you get home from your mission like the state that you're in is like return missionary for like you know six months until the state turns into like used to be a return missionary then like nerd starting college and then guy in college and like i've noticed that when i'm in a state that's emotional like with everything with rose it's like everything else will be affected as if those things were more emotional than normal. So it's like, I cried because of Rose, so now everything else in my life feels as if it's a bigger deal, even if it's oh, not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm watching Click, I've seen it a hundred times, and I'm like, oh man, like this time, like he's got the fat flab, and it is like, dude, it's like so sad this time, but on the previous times, 
It's not sad at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I not even I I've the never first time seen I Click that. because yeah. I had just broken up with my first real girlfriend, mm. and you know the part at the end. Have you you haven't seen it? Never mind. You I haven't seen Click. It. Seriously. Well, I mean, it came out like 15 years ago, so well, I'm like, like, yeah, you can always forget the age gap. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. so like he. Well, I don't want to recap the whole thing, but anyway, he at the very end, you know, he like. <laughs> See one. The, like he pulls out the napkin that she wrote for him. Yeah. You know, and like in the rain and he's dying, like I was bawling. That part is sad and he's like dying and he's old and then like the her her husband that she like dumped him for, like the mm-hmm. stepdad or whatever, comes over and is like, I'm sorry, like blah 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 and it's like emotional and he's like And like flips him off. <laughs> the, the, well the funny thing, so my, my friend's dad was one of the inventors of Clearplay, funny enough. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know what it was. I and I was at their house when I watched it. And so it like edited out all the bad stuff, right? Like the dog like humping the little, That's the best part, little right? duck. Probably the whole you know? scene. And yeah, and like the shadows, you know, like the like anyway. <laughs> I actually <laughs> forgot about that part. <laughs> um, but that part at the like end. Because like it's doing. it's like an emotional moment, but then it's like broken up when he like flips him off, you know? Mm-hmm. But that part was edited out. So it was just like Straight, just straight emotional sadness. sadness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it kind of broke the sadness. Yeah. Because they added a funny part, but I yeah. could see. And when I saw it later, I was like, "That was way oh. better filmmaking than I thought." This wasn't supposed to be people. It's like die of how many times misery. have I thought that something like was emotional or impactful or important or whatever, but it's actually from something else. Like when I saw Charlie. I cried. Oh yeah. But I also threw up that day and was like, I cried because I threw up. I was like, <laughs> was it actually good? There's movies that are like equally as good that I did not cry in, but likely because like I wasn't, you know. It's interesting, specifically movies that you cry in. I can think of them. I think I can count them all on one hand. Toy Story three. Inside oh, Out. When you add in those two. <laughs> 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 if we take out all Pixar, then I can probably count one. <laughs> scary movie three. Um, uh, scary movie the one, one through seven. The movies that have made me cry in my life, like it doesn't make sense why they would make me cry. Yeah, that's like, gonna say it has to do most. with the time period, like much more than the movie. Though so actually, we were just watching Apollo thirteen, and I've oh. watched that a million times. I feel like I would and cry. It recently. It hasn't made me cry before, you know, but um, the part where all the reporters come like to put this like to put the stuff on her lawn and then she's like they're not putting one thing on my lawn if they have a problem with that they can take it up with my husband he'll be home on friday you know because he was like up in the up in space, up in space. You know, <laughs> a couple of miles away that like really got me for some reason <laughs> yeah i actually get weird like like for example if i'm talking at work and i'm just like i've had this happen a couple of times i'll be just like telling a story about something that's not even emotional and like sometimes like almost words trigger like this tiny emotion. I usually get over it. It's not enough to like make me cry or something. But I'll be like, yeah. And then like so and so friend just was like really sad. I'm like, am I sad? Wait, the story's not even sad. Like that's like <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> like, he tripped and fell on his face. Yeah, like, anyway, and then yeah, it's like and then he went paintballing with his homies. I'm like sometimes your brain's like, whoa, somebody say sad. Yeah, yeah. Just, one movie I always get a little emotional in is about time. Every oh, time I watch oh, it. oh! That, How can you yeah. not? I watched yeah. that the other night, and it was just sitting there like hugging a pillow. Just like it's yeah. that's a great movie, and that is a sad movie. Yeah, it is sad. Or, or her? Sad, but he, Have you seen her? I haven't seen her. I really like that movie. <coughs> is it the one with Joaquin Phoenix? Joaquin. Mm-hmm. I heard, I heard it was good. I heard it was good. Also, heard it was really weird.